Let us look into units place value calculation in various operations like addition and multiplication. First begin with addition. Consider three numbers 149, 395 and 417. As a first step, separate the units plus digit from every number. In 149, separate 9 from 395, separate 5 and from 417, separate the value 7. Get the summation of these separated values. It is 21. In 21, again, identify the units place value that is 1, which is the units place value of the summation of the given three numbers. Let's have a look at units place value calculation in multiplication operation. Consider the product of two numbers 35,974 and 4,179. To obtain the units place value of this product, first separate the units place digit from every number. In the first number, the digit is 4 and in the second number, that is 9. As a second step, get the product of this separated digits and that value is equal to 36. Again, in 36, identify the units place value, that is 6, which would be the desired units place value here. Here is a quick trick related to units place value calculation in multiplication. Let me explain this trick with an example. Consider the product of four numbers which are given here. We need the units place value of this product. In this product, this value is zero. Directly we can say that this value is zero. How? Let me explain. As we have seen just now, in order to obtain the units place value of a given product, first of all, we have to separate the units place digits from every number. Let us separate the digit 9 from this first number 719 and from 412 separate the units plus digit 2 and from 510 separate the value 0 and from 23 separate its units plus digit 3 and then obtain the product of this separated digits as we have a 0 here we can say that this product value is also equal to 0 and this is the units plus value of the given product. Here we can conclude that in any product if one or more than one numbers have a zero in their unit place, we can directly say that the unit place value of such a product is zero.